Welcome back, Cowboy Warriors. That's what we out there doing today. Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy. Finally got a full booster box in my hands. Um, quite amazing, actually. Uh, we're not going to be able to open too many of these, so we better enjoy the ones we can open, because the shortage is ridiculous. And, you know, I've been complaining about it a lot, but it's not just because the shortage. Like, if everybody was getting shorted across the board because there was so little product out there you know i'd be like oh whatever at least we're getting some i'm happy about that uh but the fact that there's you know these scalpers on whatnot sell them for ludicrous prices that have gotten entire pallets full of these boxes um and three weeks early i might add before the stores could even come close to getting them that's the issue that I've been having and why I think Asmode is just really not doing the right thing uh, by this game. And it, yeah, nothing to do with the shortage. I, I understand shortages. I understand the game is blown up way bigger than they thought it would because it is a really, really good game. But how they're handling it and the fact that scalpers are getting pallets while stores that actually have dedicated playgroups are getting... Not even enough to get their players one box a piece is bad. But anyways, let's stop ranting about that. And let's open the packs and see the cards. The set is designed so well. Fantasy Flight Games has done a really good job once again with this game. Han Solo for our first leader. And Jawas Palace for our first base. Uh, not going to go too slow because, you know, everybody's already been watching the openings for weeks now. Uh, but this is my first chance. We got to open cards, get singles for the store. We're not going to have nearly as many singles as we need. Um, we didn't get enough of the first set uh, because I opened a couple cases and then we were supposed to get 60 more boxes the following Monday after release and we didn't get them. So ruthlessness for our first rare and a surprise strike coming. Um, yeah, we were supposed to get 60 more boxes the Monday after release. And I was expecting to open a couple more cases for singles because I only opened two cases for singles, which is not much. 12 boxes for singles is not going to do it. Death Watch Hideout. Um, <laughs> this little guy, he's funny. Um, yeah, so we were hoping to open a lot more of the first set, but it never came in. We never got it. We still haven't gotten it. So, yeah. Daring Raid, Hyperspace. So not enough singles. We sold out of, like, the staples like really really fast i would love to do my mass box openings of this stuff because i mean the cards are so hard to get phoenix shand one of the better uncommons enterprising lackeys i love the smuggle mechanic haven't got a chance to use it yet but it looks so good coruscant descent or dissident um well i'm awake it was a long day um <laughs> It was a slow day, so the wife and I actually did get a chance to open the starters and play a game, which was fun. Uh, we got interrupted quite a few times, as usual. Yeah, was Palace Hyperspace, but we uh, we did actually make it through a whole game uh, with the starters, and they were a lot of fun. Um, uh, she did the Moff Gideon deck, and I did the Mando deck. Uh, I won. <laughs> it was uh, the Mando deck was just shutting down everything with Grogu. I had two Grogu's out, and hey, Kylo Ren Hyperspace Legendary. There we go. Trying to kill the past. Um, yeah, he's one of the more expensive cards, so there we go. There's a nice little hit right out of the gate. For a first Legendary, and a rare, too. We got Sugi. Suji? Sugi? I don't remember. And Weak Way Pirate Guard. Gun Gang. Pirate Gang. Okay. Gang. I got it. It's Gang, not Guard. Um... <laughs> we did have fun yeah uh being able to tap down so many creatures uh, or so many units every turn is pretty crazy Navarro city um let me get through the commons here so the game's just designed so well this is like i've been saying this is the first game in 20 years that i really see competing with magic let the wookie win gentle giant speaking of wookies we got two wookies in a row there um, the mechanics, it's got all the mechanics of magic, it's got the complexity of magic, but you actually get to play. <laughs> you can't be stopped from playing. Uh, there's bar wipes and all that, but there's no counter spells. Uh, there's no really, I mean, there's control, but it's not like magic where you're literally stopping every single thing they try and do. They get to do their action, and that's the cool part. 
Bo-Katan Creeks, um, Millennium Falcon, the uncommon one. Looks like it might be pretty good as well. <laughs> it's going to be probably as good as the uh, the original Falcon, I think, and it's an uncommon. Wild Rancor, I love Rancor. I got myself an extra Rancor mat because I thought the Rancor mat was going to sell like crazy. Turns out the Dark Saber mat sold faster than the Rancor mat. Uh, pillage. But I got one for myself. I haven't put it up yet. I probably should bring it home and put it up because it's really cool. Uh, Alright. Uh, hyperspace Boba Fett for a leader, common leader. And what is that? Oh, Coronet City. It was like Cabernet City? What? What's, I don't remember that. Uh, hyperspace Moisture Farmer. And some more commons. Some more uncommons. And Effent Mon. Effent Mon? I don't remember how to say that. And what do we got? Crosshair. Crosshairs. Uncommon, I think. It's so hard for me to see the difference between the uncommon and the legendaries. Um, <laughs> my eyes don't work like they used to. I used to have perfect vision when I was younger. Man, it was like literally the day I hit 40, you just went all to hell. <laughs> now I can't see nothing. Gar Saxon and a hyperspace Navarro City. <laughs> Guavian, Go, Glo, Guavian, Guavian, Guavian Antagonizer. I had to stop and remember the movie. Uh, that's the Star Wars movie I think I've seen the least is Solo. Not that it's a bad movie, just because it's one of the newer ones. Um, hey, Mandalorian for a legendary. Nice. Uh, wherever I go, he goes. So there we go. Another legendary. And Hutt's henchman for Common Fall. All right. So we got two good legendaries. Of course, it looks like all the legendaries are really good. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any that were really blah. Cat Bane and Maz Kanata's castle. All right. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I just, I don't know. My brain doesn't work as well these days. I'm working too many hours. <laughs> Wrecker. Hey, he's one of the more uh, more valuable rares from what I've seen. 7-6 uh, Overwhelm with, you may defeat a friendly resource. If you do, deal 5 damage to a ground unit. That's, he's, he's wrecking it when he comes in. Rich Reward, one of the bounties. All right. Let's keep it going. What do we got? Fennec Shand, the leader, and Death Watch Hideout. Death Watch Hideout is pretty cool looking. Uh, red base. Probably be uh, using that one. Right. And General Rykin. And Lady Proxima, the uncommon pole. Right. Hopefully we get more than two legendaries. <laughs> uh, rare leader, we got Hunter. Hunter uh, actually looks like a pretty good leader. We'll see what happens with him. So put that in the rare pile. Remote Village. And yeah, for the base. Um, anything good? Anything good? Nothing yet. And we got Survivor's Gauntlet for the rare. And Liberated Slaves. Wait a minute. There's like Slave Girls on there. How come we can't have Slave Leia, but we can have Slave Girls called Liberated Slaves? All right. Come on, Disney. You gotta, you gotta keep it consistent. If you're gonna like be all can't use the word slave because that's bad, um, then we want gold bikini Leia. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Miles Kanata's castle. You can use it on that card. You can use it on a gold bikini Leia. I want to see a slave Leia card. That would be a legendary. Everybody would want <laughs> Tobias Beckett for a pretty good rare and triple dark raid for a full rare. So not bad. Two rares in the same pack. And I think Tobias Beckett has actually uh, got a little hype behind him. Let's see what happens with him. Could be good. You never tell though. You don't know until you actually start playing games with the cards and see what they what they match up against. Finn for another rare leader. And Remote Village for a base. And let's see. Can't wait to build Mandalorian deck if I even have enough cards. Probably not. I probably won't be able to. And Force Loyalty for our first Hyperspace Uncommon. Oh, DJ for another good legendary and a Hyperspace Foil. Uh, just common, nothing big. Outflank. Um, but, yeah, the DJ, he's uh, he's up there on the price list from what I've seen so far. There's some hype behind him. So, we only got three legendaries, but all three of them are good. I'm not complaining yet. Looks like a pretty decent box so far. Bosk. 
Remnant Science Facility. Right, Jabba's Rancor. Another one, the Dark Saber. Man, this box is throwing out all the hits. And then a Bravado one coming up. Well, Dark Saber is another one of the top legendaries <laughs> currently. All right. All those prices probably change after we start playing with these cards. But, uh, yeah. Kylo Ren, the Mandalorian, DJ, and Dark Saber is not a bad little legendary batch for a box. Hondo. I love Hondo. He's hilarious. And Death Watch Hideout again. Oh, looks like we got another shiny card in the back. All right, what do we got? In commons, we got a Dr. Evasion and an uh, uncommon hyperspace foil. Sundari Peacekeeper. All right. So two hyperspace foils. Unfortunately, nobody really likes the hyperspace foils. I don't want the non foil hyperspaces, which actually seem harder to get than the hyperspace foils sometimes. Ray, and we got Moskana's Castle in hyperspace. All right, get through the commons and uncommons here. Echo. Heroic Resolve for our rare. And a comic ball. Alright. Getting through there. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty good box so far. Um, according to the, the price list, I think uh, we've already paid for the box with the four legendaries. Fennec Shan, Hyperspace, and Coronet City again. Of course, those prices are all subject to change within the hour. And Inspiring Mentor for the rare. Oh, and a legendary second chance uh, uh, foil. So, another legendary. Nice. A bonus legendary. I like the bonus legendaries. I wasn't sure if we were going to get any more or not, because these boxes don't seem to pump out a lot of legendaries. At least the first set didn't. I don't know. This first box I've opened is a new one. But we only got two in the 15 packs that I opened uh, the other night. So, we'll see. Hopefully. Uh, Lom Pike. And wanted. All right, getting down there. Got about seven more to go. All right. Lando Calrissian for another rare leader. Jabba's Palace. Looks like we got another hyperspace wall back here. I won't complain. And uh, oh, that's a really, really cool looking uh, house cast soldier uh, hyperspace. That looks great. Great artwork on that one. And. Another legendary Dryden Voss. Holy moly. And a hyperspace foil. Just a common, but still. We got three hyperspace foils, and we're up to, what, six legendaries now? Yeah. That's a lot more than the first set, I think, we ever got. All right. Let's keep going. Give us some more. We're, we're, we're good with that. Cat Bane. Spice Mines. Uh, the house cast without the hyperspace. Still good, but not as quite as cool. <laughs> Uh, Chewbacca for the rare, and a rare foil, the Tarple. Man, it seems like every time we find one Wookiee, we find another Wookiee. <laughs> the Wookiees are always teaming up together here. At least in this box. Always back-to-back -back Wookiees. Alright, Fennec Hand. We got another good one. And Josh Palace. Did we get another hyperspace foil? This box is just off the chain good. Alright. Uh, oh, hyperspace rare, let the Wookiee win, which means we got a second rare, Boba Fett's armor, and another hyperspace foil. Wow, two rares and a hyperspace foil in the same pack, and one of the rares is hyperspace. Can't argue with that. This has been a really good box. Uh, I hope the rest of them are all downhill from here. <laughs> Hopefully they're all this good. Uh, Han Solo, Remote Village, we're not getting many boxes, at least they could do is make them all good boxes, right? Am I right? <laughs> and altering the deal for the rare and a common foil. Kind of figured we were due for a normal pack. We're getting all these killer packs here. I figured a normal one was coming up soon. All right. Hyperspace Cabane. Nice. He seems like he might be a really good leader. We'll find out. Navarro City. Don't know until you play him. Hyperspace common there. And boo. The Chaos of War for Rare. And are you kidding me? Is that an uncommon or a legendary? That's a, I think it's uncommon. Okay. So hard to tell when it's a blue card like that. Is it? Is it legendary? No, uncommon. Okay. Uncommon. <laughs> I got all excited. I thought we had another legendary. Uh, there. Oh, it, every pack's been doing that to me. What's going on here? These packs are so easy to open, but I'm having trouble tonight. All right. Uh, 
slow days are always the longest. Kylo Ren. There we go. Nice little Kylo Ren leader card. Rare. And Remnant Science Facility Hyperspace. Base. All right. And a Hyperspace uh, Uncommon. The Client. And then Cobb uh, Vanth for the rare. And Pirate Battle Tank for the foil. Uh, I really... <laughs> I like that whole arc with uh with uh, he's uh who's that Timothy Timothy something he's such a good actor uh especially uh live free or die hard oh he's so good in that <laughs> love that movie I like all, uh, I like most of the die hard movies but that one's definitely my favorite little bit space mines the original is pretty good too um, oh, hyperspace night oil skirmisher and night owl sorry. Not my oil. Guys, just don't work anymore. Val, and a common foil at the close here. All right, so we ended up with four hyperspace foils. Uh, one uncommon, three commons. Uh, nothing, nothing major there, but we did get some really good. One, two, three, four, five, six legendaries, and all really good ones. Um, you got the Dryden Boss, the Second Chance, Dark Saber, DJ, Mandalorian, and the Hyperspace Kylo Ren. Definitely cool. We got a Hyperspace and a Foil Legendary. So, not bad. Not bad at all. I'd say that was a pretty good box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description. Click some of those links. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully, they fix their, their production issues with Set 3 like they say they're going to. Uh, this one's supposed to have two more waves of release, and then they're going to do the second release for set one, supposedly, uh, like October, November, December area for those three things. Um, hopefully, the product gets out there a little bit better, uh, and they they actually give it to the right people next time. That would be really, really nice if they gave it to the stores that have play groups and have, you know, players there building a scene for the game in that area. Uh, that's the important part. I mean, getting it to the scalpers is not good. Getting it to the stores that have players that want the cards and need the cards so they can go play big events, that's important. If they can't get the cards to go play big events, they're not going to go play the big events. If they don't play the big events, the big events aren't huge, and the game doesn't get bigger. Uh, and that's what we need right now. We really The game's blowing up really fast, but we need it to keep growing. We don't need it to look like a flash on the pan and then die out. So we don't need players leaving. We need more players coming in. And the only way to do that is get cards in the hands of the play groups in the local areas. So anyways, let me know your opinions in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.